Happy New Year everybody! Happy 2016! Hopefully you had a fun New Year's party or at home drinking wine. I don't know. That's what I did. Um, this video is probably going to piss some people off or maybe a lot of people agree with it. I don't know. But um, it's about marriage and my problem with marriage before people that really support marriage get pissed off at me for maybe stating my opinions about this issue, topic, however you want to look at it. Just know that marriage isn't for everyone and I see all the faults in it and it's pretty hard when you know the divorce rate in, a, in the US is anywhere from 40 to 50 percent for marriage. Uh, that just doesn't look good in my book and you know I think love and commitment now is something extremely hard to come by. I think it was different you know maybe I don't know 40 years ago, I mean, there's divorce. Divorce has obviously been common throughout the years anyway, but now people, I don't know, times are just different now. If you look at how things were, you know, back in the day and compared to how things are now, it's just, things are different. And, you know, I know why marriage isn't for me because I am a flighty person and I will totally openly admit that. And it's not, I don't think it's that I lack commitment. It's just, it just doesn't interest me. And, you know, when doing some research, on marriage and weddings and everything and like the average cost of a uh, of a wedding in the US is around twenty six thousand dollars. It also states that most people spend under ten thousand dollars but I feel like that goes about fifty fifty because a lot of women especially want some extravagant wedding and again this is not everybody, okay? I get it, you know, don't don't uh, hate on me for that. It's not everybody and but what I don't understand is why do you, $26,000 on one day, I know like the average, I think in Minnesota was $30,000 for one day. I mean, I could have all my debt paid off and be sitting pretty damn good and be on my way to get in my tiny house. Like to me, it just doesn't seem, it doesn't seem necessary. And um, there's a book I'm reading, it's by Asho, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, he talks about marriage and how it doesn't make sense that why do you need a legal contract stating your love for each other and he goes on to say that when you do that that it's basically stating your fear that you're gonna lose this person that's the only reason why a lot of people get married you know I've heard people tell me that it's just that final level of commitment and yeah okay I get it but people I don't I don't know in my opinion people don't grow grow together. It's rare to find. A lot of people aren't on that same page and you know I'm no expert in this but this is just my opinion like first of all why do you want to spend all that money on a wedding for one day especially on a dress that you're gonna wear for one day and just I, I really agree with that Asha like it doesn't it, 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 <laughs> if you truly love someone you don't need to get married you don't need that piece of paper to say hey we're married we're gonna proclaim our love to the world like to me it doesn't make sense I would rather just have some sort of party and get together barbecue in the backyard and say hey we're in love let's have a beer it's taking me a while to even make this video because I want it I want to share my honest opinions about it but I feel like when people watch it I mean I shouldn't care this is this is part of my news resolution don't care what other people think but it's hard not to because we grow up thinking you need to grow up go to school go to college you know get married get a house get a job and have kids and white picket fence but that's not reality it might be reality for some but it's not reality especially nowadays like people coming out of college with fifty some thousand dollars worth of debt and not getting a job in their profession I mean I work in retail. I don't work in the music industry like I went to school for. I mean, yeah, I do some band interviews here and there, but I don't know if that's what I want to do now with the rest of my life. And, you know, somebody else at my work, they said they went to beauty school, and I, I had never realized this, and now they work in retail too. There is decent money to be made if you get a certain position within a retail company, but most people don't want to do the work. A lot of people want the weekends off and everything, but... <clears throat> I don't know, I'm not like discouraging going to school and everything, but I don't know. People just need to get their heads out of their asses as far as I'm concerned. It's just marriage to me is not reality. If it's reality for you, 
That is great. I I always say, you know, people need to do what makes them happy. If you want to get married and have kids, that's great. That is something that I totally disagree with and don't want to do. I don't like kids. This world's, everything's so expensive. It's the world, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's going to hell. So I don't want to bring a kid into this. I don't want to have to, to have them deal with high school and, you know, shit I went through. And I know it's ten times as worse now. I mean, we're using technology against us in a lot of ways, especially with our cell phones and everything. And I don't want to raise a kid in that. Like, someone recently told me, too, that one reason for marriage is tax breaks. But is that the only reason you're getting married? Tax breaks? I mean, you'll probably get divorced five years down the road. Tax breaks, yes, would be nice. <laughs> but if that's the only reason you're getting married, that doesn't make any sense either. You know, I really, I found this quote by, it was Dr. William H. Dor Dordry, Dory, am I saying that right? He's a noted marriage scholar and therapist. He says, marriage is a counter-cultural act in a throwaway society. I think we are a throwaway society. We throw away everything that's good or once was good. We don't want to work at things. And marriage is something that takes effort. And I feel like especially kids from my generation don't want to put the effort into anything. And, you know, just with like even working a retail job, for instance, or a very physically demanding job, a lot of kids from my generation don't want to do that kind of work. They want to sit at a desk all day. But, you know, when I had that kind of job, granted, this is just me, I had so many bad back issues and just health issues and slouching over, you know, <sighs> that can go on to a whole different subject. So, anyway, I thought I'd just actually bring in my parents, who have been married for 27 years, to get their opinion on marriage and how it's maybe changed them and, honestly, what their opinion is while being married for that long. So, here are my parents. for 27 years. I don't think it's actually for the better. I mean, you have somebody you can depend on and depends on you and you're kind of a team together. <laughs> no, I think marriage can be a good thing, but nowadays I think times have changed that I don't know if it's such a good thing because people most of the time give up so quickly, you know, and I mean, I think it's good to get married in some ways, but some ways it's bad because if you're not going to stick with something, don't know no use in even trying to do it because it's, it's a give and take every single day of your life. Well, back, you know, when we first got married, we really didn't have anything to lose. So, I mean, it's like, if you went into it, well, give it a shot, whatever. You know, nowadays, you know, we have more to lose now that, you know, we've been married this long. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it after you've been with somebody so long and something happens to one or the other, if you get a divorce, I'd say stay single because you have more to lose now. And I said, plus social media, they really rip you apart nowadays. And it's like, everybody's always, you know, you get mad at somebody, you always go on there and rip them a new a-hole. And it's just like so stupid. And it's like, you know, just sometimes it's just like, you're better off living with somebody or just getting into a relationship or just... You know, not even getting into a relationship. People can be pretty cruel nowadays. They're a lot different than they were when we got married. The social media wasn't there. and Nobody was out to nail you for being who you are back then as they are now. Well, for what he doesn't speak up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? He needs to, you know, say what's on his mind. You know, that kind of bothers me. You don't hold everything in. I mean, life's too short. You need to say what's on your mind. And you know what? Most times I do want to hear it. Whether it be good or bad or other. They're snoring. My snoring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know. I mean, I... Admire that he was a hard worker, but I think he's more of a hard worker now that he has people that, you know, really need and care about him. Anything? Well, I guess that's going to be the those. Admire that he cares about people a lot better. Care more about ourselves. So that was an insightful, I don't know what is. Uh, biggest thing to take away is, yes, marriage isn't for everyone. Think about it more. Don't rush into it. And really, there is, you know, people say it's the final commitment of love, but like, I don't know, it always comes down to 
money factor for me. Why do you want to spend uh, so many women, at least the women I've met, maybe I've met the wrong women, I don't know, but want in relationships, they want this big ring or they, when they're married, they always try to, if they're talking to you, they always try to do this and, oh gosh, look at my ring and everything, but like, I don't care about your fucking ring. That means nothing. The fact that your now husband went out and spent 5000 or more dollars on a ring and you just got married, to me makes, it makes no sense. And I just frown upon it, to be honest, like, $5,000, that's a lot of money to go do something else, pay every student loan, I don't know, but maybe I have unrealistic expectations of how things should be. I, I, I hope this uh, made sense to you. And, you know, if it did, and if you have some opinions you want to share, just comment below. Like, I'm totally willing to go through and read them and everything. Like, we can, we can talk. Let's, let's talk. Let's start a conversation. That's what I want these videos to be about. Sometimes I feel like I just go off and talk about just the random things that don't even make sense anymore. But this channel is going to get more consistent with videos. Uh, I am starting to act out some stuff now. I have a lot of ideas and my mother's going to be helping me with some stuff. So that should be exciting. Um, as far as my blog too, rainbowhairedgirl.com. You should go check that out. I am, excuse me. Uh, I'm going to try to try to start posting a blog once a week um yeah so i i don't know i feel like this is just a whole lot of i don't know so that's my problem like i feel like people are just gonna hate on me for saying my opinions about marriage but you know what go for it i have strong opinions about it strong pair opinions about kids and life in general so hey hi that's why i have this channel so